Canada versus the USA. Friendly neighbors when it comes to geopolitical relations? Sure. Similar in culture and attitudes? Debatable. But these two countries have never been friends when it comes to competition on ice. Whether it's hockey or ice cross downhill, few winter matchups inspire this kind of friendly rivalry. between neighbors, the win-loss column from last year shows Canada with a distinct advantage. Team Moriarty out in the lead at the moment, so fast on his feet. Three of the four crashed ice races last year went to the True North strong and free. Yes! Scotty Croxo! Look at this battle right there! Al Croxo wins here at the Red Bull crashed ice St. Paul. The thing about win streaks, though, is that eventually, they end. Look at a great move by Cameron Nuts on the inside. What a great race. Cameron Nuts protects the Canadian sweep by winning here in Quebec City. It would be unreal to win in St. Paul this year. I've come in third place, third place, a fourth place. And unfortunately for the American fans, Cameron Nuts, he is not on the podium. I need a big W, I mean, this is ours, you know, like, I'm sick of Canadians winning on our soil. The Americans are also quickly figuring out their own way to win. And despite being around now for 15 years, there still remains no precise winning or training formula for crashed ice competition. Get up here. All this ninja stuff really bottles my mind. I think it's great training. Yeah, I did it, I got one. I like uh, not just being in the gym every day. That gets boring. Yeah. Anything to push yourself, really. There's no way, no way. Oh, sometimes you just gotta know when you're not ninja enough. Learning how to do something that you weren't able to do before. Have fun. Oh yeah, get up. Crash ice, the first time you go down the hill, you're probably not gonna be the best at it. That's like 61 inches tall. <laughs> but that determination and the grit and the drive to go do it again and then just find a way to get it done. Oh, Whoa! get some! Woo! <laughs> Boy's getting up in the air! That's yeah! ridiculous. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Way to go. Everybody's getting fives. <laughs> That's how you do it. You can select your approach to training. You can decide your race strategy. But no one gets to choose their own nickname. Half speed? Yeah. Are you talking about half speed? Thanks. Throw it in there. <laughs> no, Matt's a good kid. We uh, had a few nicknames for him. Rookie, half speed. We were getting ready to do our practice runs and I think Scotty or somebody else asked me, you know, Oh, how are you gonna do this one? I was like, ah, I think I'm gonna take this one half speed. Half speed's full speed this year. He uh, had his rookie season last year and he came out with like, one goal and he conquered it. That was the dream, pretty much. To, to start the season, I was just like, I just wanna be on Team USA. Now we're really gonna mess up the rest of the guys on the tour, like Team USA's coming. to get a workout in with, uh, with Johnson and I and uh, do some quickness drills, speed stuff, conditioning. Crash dice season's right around the corner. Anything we can do to make us better than those darn Canadians. Let's get them. What exactly has changed since the Americans got into crash dice? Nothing. Our advantage over the Americans is that we're Canadian. That's definitely an advantage. We're gonna have a little fun. Play a little hockey. 
It's good for the soul. Oh, oh, baby. Do a little skating drills, condition up, and you're ready to go fast. Courses like this just tones, fine tunes, your edging skills, your quick starts, your agility, your power strides. <laughs> All that comes into play later when you're on the big hill. And I'm out of breath now. We'll pull the pads out and jump over some stuff and just mess around, you know? There's no point in training if you can't laugh and have some fun the whole time. I don't know why I haven't won in St. Paul yet. I think instantly if he became a Canadian citizen, he would have a better shot. What do you Moriarty's got for us? Scotty, what are you guys gonna have? Start, sprint, blue line, turn around. Come straight up the middle. Oh, I got the start! If you fall, you want to fall on your stomach and try to get back up as quick as possible. Let's call this qualification. I want a review. None of them have any style. Naz probably would if he didn't wear a race car helmet, but he does. I think it helps him out when he takes off his helmet when he wins a race. Slow motion. And Supermodel style. Supermodel style and just slips his hair. Today was fun, it was interesting. It's good to uh, get some super celebrities in here and it's cool that they were interested enough to come and check it out. We started doing what the boys do for their warm up, did a little speed ladder. Then we jumped into just doing some sled pulls. If I keep up, I'm happy. <laughs> I think that was a really good exercise. I mean, we talked about them getting out of the gate really fast. They give you that five seconds and they just don't tell you anything. So those first strides are huge. He's coming in hot. You gotta go. You gotta get him. Let's do it again. <laughs> How do you land that in the box? Oh, no, I, just... uh, I don't think I could ever imagine to do something like that. For you guys, uh, definitely like the position between being too far forward on the trampoline and a little bit too far back is probably crucial for going up the jumps and landings. Okay, after the break, oh. me and my lady come back right Scott was terrible. I'm just a beginner, man. First day on the trampoline. Oh. It's just incredible how fast they are. And speeds that are unreachable on, on the ice surface that we play at. I wouldn't be able to do this at all, no, not a chance. So I don't know if I'd be able to do that, but if I could do that on my skis, that would be awesome. Now it's just time to put it in play. This is my race. I'm not letting anybody get by me. Instead of, oh, I got some Canadians in my race. I don't know, we'll see how this one goes. Matt, don't go half speed. That ain't cool. The Canadian win streak is officially over. The rest of the season will determine if an American win streak has begun. Canada and the USA may share a border, but neither ever wants to share the top step of the podium.